Hey, Jake. Well, I'll get it into you. It might be hard to get it, but mental health experts say you need at least several minutes of natural sunlight each day. If you don't, it can lead to feelings of isolation and even depression. Sit up and then hug the tree in front. Kay Moffat isn't the biggest fan of Old Man Winter. Oh, spring are my favorite. But she's lived in Kansas long enough to know how to embrace each season. On this day, she's exercising to keep her mind and body occupied. I purposely try to find activities towards the end of the day so I don't notice that the sun goes down so much earlier. And just brings your entire mood down. Fitness expert Greg Justice says cold temps tend to make people cut back from the gym. But he says workouts keep you from getting the winter doldrums. There's a chemical, physiological response to the body. Being outside in the sunlight will help your mental state. A person really needs 30 minutes or so of bright sunlight exposure every day. Mental health expert Susan Crane Lewis says a lack of sunlight and not being around people can lead to cabin fever, but some can even get seasonal affective disorder. It looks an awful lot like clinical depression, but it's very much cyclic, and it is absolutely tied to lack of sunlight exposure. Christine Taft cross-country skis to beat the winter blues. I had to talk myself into it there, but, but once you're out, it's wonderful. Her method might be the best because she's getting plenty of sunlight and exercise. But if you can't ski or work out, experts say just doing any activity with family or friends will keep cabin fever away. And if you still want to get that sunlight but just can't get outside, some doctor's offices offer light therapy, which is basically a light that mimics the sunlight. You can also buy those as well. We're live here in Kansas City. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.